Hello everyone, Lieutenant Dan here, and this is going to be the start of my new Let's Play series of Civilization V. Um, I really like the game, Civilization. It's a really good game. Um, I recommend, recommend it to anyone. I personally like the game more than Civ Four. For any of you that didn't know, Civ Four featured square tiles, stacks of doom with unlimited units and tiles. It was just... For me, it wasn't that fun of a game. Civilization V introduced hexagonal tiles, um, ranged combat, and only one unit per tile, which makes combat a lot more tactical rather than just being a bunch of big blocks of units moving around. If you want a full review of the differences between Civ V and Civ IV, um, I go to Angry Joe. He's a good review of Civ V. I'll leave that in the description. But for right now, I'm going to start a game of Civ V, um, one of my favorite games in on the computer for sure. Um, I wasn't quite sure about what settings I was going to use, so here we go, let's just get into it. Set up a game for more customization. And so for the leaders, I decided to choose someone that I didn't, that I haven't used before. This way I get a new experience from the game and just... So many options, I just want to keep it fun. So the first one is Askia. Receive triple gold from barbarian encampments and pillaging cities, and barbed units can defend themselves. This is actually pretty cool because then you get like 600 gold per city, 75 gold per encampment, and when you're moving mass units, like across seas, I find that I always have to build up a huge navy just to protect them, and that just seems like a waste of time to me. So this is going to help a lot and make it so that I'm not wasting money on this. Um, yeah, there's Civilization of Songhai. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so they have a special unit, Mandakulu Cavalry. I don't know exactly how to say that. And the Mud Pyramid Mosque. I'm guessing the cavalry just replaces the previous horsemen or something. Um, next up is Bismarck. Bismarck, um, he's so in pod defending your barbarian unit inside an encampment, it's 50% chance you earn 25 gold and they join your side. And they join your side, which is pretty cool. Don't have to waste production. And pay 25 less for your landing and maintenance. Um, Lange Connect, I'm not sure what that is. Panzer, I'm pretty sure, replaces the tank, so that's pretty cool in the late game. Bismarck is definitely a monetary civilization. Now, I've never played as Elizabeth. I'm interested in trying. Plus two movement for all naval units, which is pretty cool. They have the special unit, longbowman, and the ship of the line. Ship of the line's a pretty good unit. I think it replaces the frigate. I'm not exactly sure, but she's a pretty good civilization. Um, Genghis Khan, no. Hiroshi, no. Montezuma. <laughs> of course, Montezuma. Warmonger of Civ IV. Gain culture for the Empire for each enemy unit killed. This is really good for a cultural victory. Um... Along with the next one, I'm going to look at Napoleon. Um, there, he's almost poorly known. Jaguar, it replaces the warrior. It's got extra strength, fighting in forest. And floating gardens, I want to say it replaces the granary. Not exactly sure. Not sure what bonuses it gives you. But he's a good cultural sieve. Along with this next one, Napoleon. Plus two culture from cities before discovering steam power. You get the Foreign Legion. Not sure what that replaces. And the Musketeer replaces the Musketman. I think he just gets a combat bonus. I'm not sure. But that's basically it. So for the most part, it's between Montezuma, Napoleon, um, Askia, uh, Bismarck right there. I kind of want to be Askia. Not sure. Uh, man. Nope. You know what? I'm going to be Montezuma. I've never played as him. Oh, I've heard a lot of good things about playing as him, actually. And I'm interested in trying him out. I'm going to do Montezuma. Um, by the way, this commentary is not live. I'm going to do it in the future live. That way it's a little more real. I just had some problems with the audio. Um, that's my old channel. Uh, be sure to put in the real name next time, but I'm just going to leave it as Aztecs. I'm going to leave the map type, so I'm going to try a different one. Map size standard, yep. 
Standard works for me. King, I usually bring on Prince, but I like a challenge, and with the comments from the users, like, you guys, I'm hoping I can pass this test. <laughs> Excuse me. In game pace, I'm going to go quick. That way, they, it doesn't last too long if you don't like the sieve or the map or whatever I'm doing. And that way, we get through a lot of different sieves, a lot of different scenarios. We can do extra stuff. Now, I'm not a big fan of City State, so I'm going to bring that down to 10. And I'm going to add two more AIs, just because it adds a little more to the game, and I think it's a little more fun. Uh, map type, I'm getting out map type. I've heard a lot of good things about Fractal. Highly random map that will often form thin, sneaky comments. This sounds like a lot of fun to me. Like, I've seen some Let's Plays of it, and it looks really fun. So I'm going to try that out. Um, ancient area, quick, king, standard, turn off time, victory, that's just no fun. Science, domination, cultural, diplomatic, leave those. Now you guys, you guys may not like this, but I'm going to turn on quick movement and quick combat. My computer doesn't run very well if I leave, if I turn those off. It just slows the game down, Tur turns take forever, loading the screens. But, it, I don't think it makes that big of a difference to the game, seeing your units die or not, but... That's just my opinion. Sometimes I, I like allow promotion saving, but this time I'm just going to pass on it. Um, but, yeah, I think that should be good for this. Let's go ahead and start the game. I'm just going to check quickly here to see how much time I have left on my recording. Alright, that's good. Alrighty. Montezuma, look at that guy. It's a beast. It's a beast. You can read that up there. I'm not going to read it to you. I'm not going to waste the time. So the Jaguar, strength of 6, early game military unit. Unit fights more effectively in general and heals damage when it kills an enemy unit, unlike the warrior which it replaces. So it's an upgrade on your warrior. I wonder if I get it right away. It's, that'll be interesting to see. <laughs> so, it's a pretty good unit, I'd say. Floating Gardens. So yes, it does replace the Granary. So, each work like tile provides, provides plus 2 food. That's pretty good. I don't know how many... Lakes I'm going to be here. Turns out we do get the Jaguar. Interesting. So let's start. I got some sugar. I got some furs. That's going to be good for happiness. And I s immediately see that hill right there. That looks like a good spot. Next to a river. Good food production bonuses. Um, I'm just going to go explore here with the Jaguar. So you can see that he does get... He can move freely throughout terrain. Got some more luxury resources over there. Pretty nice. Settler, I'm just going to move up to that hill so we can see what's going on here. Got a mountain up there. Two sugars, two dye, mountain. I'm going to go ahead and end this turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, here we go. 39.40 BC. I'm going to move them up into those dye. Three dyes in a row, wow. It's pretty interesting. Deer. A lot of weird resources. Yep, I'm going to fountain out cheat line on that hill. I thought it was a pretty good spot. You guys let me know. I can I can always re-roll and do what you guys want. But choosing production, I'm going to start here. I'm not going to build a monument. That's just a waste. The thing I say about monument is you can always get it through the social policy later. I'm going to start with a worker. Worker is a good start. I like being able to improve my city right away. On post monument, you can build it right here through legalism, and that's and that's not a very late policy, so I can do that pretty easily. Jaguar, no, I don't need to explore right now. I'm just gonna build a worker and build my city up. I can't use that trigger right now because it requires calendar. But there's sheep up there, one, two, three that will reach. A lot of nice tiles, research. So. Trigger requires calendar, so can't really worry about that now. Animal husbandry. I don't have any cattle or sheep nearby, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. It will reveal horses, so it's not bad. Pottery allows me to build a granary, which helps build my cities, which is really good in the early game. I always like going for pottery. Archery, I don't read since I have the jaguar. And mining, I don't really need since I only have one hill nearby. So I'm going to go ahead and get pottery. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Six turns, here we go. 
Uh, I'll grow in four turns. Here goes the Jaguar. We keep exploring. As you can see here, he gets two terrain movement. It's pretty nice. And look who it is. It's Hiawatha with furs. Greetings, stranger. I am Hiawatha, speaker of the Iroquois. We seek peace with all, but we do not shrink from war. Well, that's cool for you. That's fine. See you later. There's his warrior right there. <laughs> My Jaguar's stronger. <laughs> Don't see any goody huts yet. That's alright. We'll find some later. Tenon Street Lawn grows in four turns. It's all nice and well. Um, yep, I'm going to go ahead and end this turn. Yep, go ahead with that. I'm going to keep exploring with my Jaguar, and there is a good yacht. There we go. Make sure no one beats us to that. Sure hope that Hiawatha doesn't want to be run right by. Discovered ancient ruins, yep. Now go ahead. Tenon Street Lawn ends the turn, and it grows in three. Um, yep, that's fine, worth that tile. Three gold for turn, that's pretty nice. Got the palace there, just toss everything on the back, but... Alright, next turn. <whistles> Gotta have get that goodie hut. Thirteen culture, wow. I've actually never gotten that. That's pretty awesome, actually. Wow. That way we just get a free social poly. Wow, I've never... To be honest, I've never actually gotten that. It's pretty, pretty cool, I gotta say. Wow, alright. So, pottery in four turns. Here's my Jaguar, he's good to go. Worker in seven turns, it looks like. Then I'll shoot line in two. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video when I get to uh, two turns. And I grow, I think. Turn five or six. Oops, I can adopt the policy, that's good. I'm going to go on top of that hill and then wrap back around to my city. That way I'm not leaving it undefended. I know it can, it can survive. But... Alright, social policies. Tradition, three culture return, basically. Uh, allows for some pretty cool things like legalism, like I said. Free settler with liberty here. That gives you one culture return right away. But I think I'm going to go with Honor. Honor is really good early game, and combined with my special ability, it will give me plus 25 combat, bonus three barbarians, and extra culture for each barbarian killed. That's going to be a ton of culture for each barbarian I kill, which wants it more. So, I, I think that sounds like a good idea to me. And you can also get some pretty cool things later in the game. Like, military tradition, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and get Honor. Only making, only making one, that's alright. Not too worried about that. <laughs> Got those three dies, that's ridiculous. Is this, is this really the whole map? It's kind of ridiculous. I thought I, I thought I said standard. Is this like a glitch or something? Because this looks like way too small of a map to be standard. Huh, what's up? Oh well, Tenochtitlan Line has grown, go on top of that hill. Alright, so I'm going to loop back around to Tenochtitlan Line next. Um, but I'm going to end my turn here. Pottery in one more turn, grow in eight, worker in five. So, that will be the end of this video. Leave comments, in the, leave comments down below about what you think, what I should do next. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, guys.